that deer pretty much did everything right that day. And now the haunting comes. Yeah, I had that thing in my head. Clusters needed to get down on the ground. We just passed up a magnum white deal, and we thought we made a mistake. Rolling Bones TV is proud to salute our sponsors. Kershaw Knives, there's nothing like a Kershaw. Arms Corps Ammunition, the official ammo of Rolling Bones Outfitters. My Realtree Max One Camo, for all the places deer and antelope roam. Montana Rifle Company, the official partner in creating the extended range, extreme weather custom Rolling Bones rifle system, the most accurate in hunting today. The Lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort, elevate your experience and by Rolling Bones Outfitters. Be sure to sign up today for exclusive member benefits including discounts on hunts and merchandise. Log on to RollingBonesOutfitters.com. I'm um, on the second day of season, uh, the first day I hunted, we actually spotted this deer. He was pretty close to the road. He was on some public and right by the stuff we could hunt, the private land. And uh, right then and there, we called him Clusters because he's got three on the back on both sides. And that's how he got his name, Clusters. And we didn't know it was going to turn into a longer hunt than we anticipated. We paralleled the fence the whole time to get down to him. There wasn't much cover, um, just a low spot by the fence. And he was tight down in a hole in an old, uh, dry dam, we couldn't get that deer up for nothing. <laughs> Yelled and uh, howled at him and pretty much anything we could do to get him up. And then finally when he did, it was a split second and he was gone. <laughs> that deer pretty much did everything right that day because he got up so fast and spun. I mean, I barely had time to even shoot. And now the haunting comes for the next week. He, all he could do is remind me, I gotta get on this buck, I gotta get on this buck. Yeah, I had that thing in my head with those clusters on the back. It was haunting me for uh, uh, 10, 10, 11 days after. Yeah, so Mark, I get it. While I was in Alaska, we saw so many huge bull moose. I've shot a moose before, but it wasn't a big one. And now that I got bullwinkle on the mind, I can, I can relate to how you feel dwelling on that deer wanting to come back and get that bad boy. But first things first, it's time for us to move. So today's moving day in Spearfish, South Dakota for Rolling Bones. We're moving from our original store to our second store. Over here, guys. I say we put this flagship bows across the top. And uh, we've almost doubled the square footage of retail space. Once, once in a while, you have a good idea. We found out how much stuff we had over the course of the move. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what is that? Well, we have a barber as a friend, and <laughs> takes him off the back. <laughs> It's a little furry mullet going on. Oh my gosh, no mullets in Look my it, house. That's not funny. funny. You guys get to work. <laughs> and in this space here, we're going to have a shooting range. We have a new technology that's being shipped in. It's called shoot your buck before you shoot your buck. So you can actually bring in your SD card out of your trail camera, put it into the computer. It propagates the horns on an animal. You pick your territory and you can shoot the uh, deer on a video screen. Uh, 20 yards away, and you can hunt your buck before you hunt your buck. Pretty cool. This is Colorado. That's Brad. Uh, Lindley called it gallery and gear because it really is a gallery of all of our uh, animals and trophies that we've been able to harvest. And it's, it's a blessing too, you know. It, and Mark didn't bring anything in, so we were looking around and lo and behold, we found one of his trophies here too. That's mine. This is, 
This is the one I shot, and I shoot it quite frequently. Here's what uh, I like to do, which most outdoor guys do. If you're gonna be in a little town, if you're coming down I-90 here towards Spearfish, swing into the store, check it out. It's a fun place to come hang. A lot of outdoorsmen come in here, you know? A lot of Rolling Bones uh, fans, and we love having them. We're the gateway to the west, so if you're making a trip out west and you uh, watch our show and you want to stop in, stop in and say hi. We'd love to meet you. So our store is all put together, things are running pretty good, and all we have left is a shooting range. The next couple weeks, that'll be up too. I can't wait for that. But now, it's time to get back to hunting. And uh, clusters, clusters needed to get down on the ground. to the new ACI. Every family has a heritage. Ours is making ammo. Our company is moving forward. ACI is growing just like our family. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Production is what keeps the company running. Inspecting, packaging. Quality pretty much lands on us. Visit m1morestore.com or stop by the store in Stevensville, Montana. Thank you, troops. This morning we're going to proceed to go down to the river and try to get on clusters, this big six point. And uh, we think we seen him yesterday, but we don't know. So Mark and I are off. We're going after clusters. It's the showdown. It was definitely time for clusters last stand. One of them mornings, we knew we were going to do some calling if it wasn't windy, and it was crisp and clear, and uh, definitely, definitely cold. We started rattling, and things happened right away. We were covered up in whitetail steel. They were still dispersed all around us. There's a big mule deer buck over there and it has extras. And Mark's like, don't even mess with me right now. Cause we got this big whitetail coming out and it's probably 100 and high 140s, 150 buck, heavy horned whitetail. And it's just hard charging us in with three or four other deer. And he now he's like, are you sure you see that buck? Are you sure you see that buck? And I'm like, yeah. So I'm walking him in on the buck and he spots him in his binoculars and he kind of, you know, he gives me the, 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 the jumbotron mark look. Like, yeah, that's him. And game's on, right? We just passed up a magnum white tail, 19 inches wide, 5 by 5 one 
50 deer. And we thought we made a mistake. Well, we just spotted, I think, I'm 75% sure. It's clusters. So we shimmy down through about three, just over 300 yards down a little drainage. Got up to where we could get a better look and to see if it was clusters for sure, and it was him. One of them deals, ah, I was in anticipation to get a shot at this buck, because I missed him once, and now he's laying there, and all I can see was his rack, so very nerve-wracking. You know, when you miss a buck like that, and he's haunting you, then you also have something in your mind that you think that maybe this thing's got like a voodoo spell on you. There was two, three does, and they got about 75, 80 yards away from him, and he, he didn't want his girlfriends being too far away, so he got up and he was gonna go check them again, and that was, that was our time. He's down, he's down, he's down, he's down. Clusters is down. Oh my god, what, what a hunt. Dude, dude. Clusters, man. Oh my god, that big bird. Oh man. Oh, what a beautiful buck. Oh. Oh. What a shot. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, baby. Look at that beautiful deer. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. Look at that thing. There's points everywhere, Mark. I know. Oh, man. What a deer. What a great hunt. How successful of a hunt was that? I just, I'm so excited. It's just, oh, what an amazing buck. I tell you what, you can't imagine how good our uh, Rolling Bone Series rifles are. I mean, I've seen them lay down three deer this year. Unbelievably, uh, my dad shot a Whopper buck. Uh, Tyson shot a great buck, and I had, then yeah! I just uh, home run it with this bad boy. So, hey, I'm telling you, the Green Hammer did its work. Having him on the ground was a huge relief, but Brian had a tag, and we were hunting the same ranch. We were gonna go check the buttes instead of hunt the river. And that's what we did, and we got on some great mule deer out there. Dude. What? You're freaking me out. Hi, I'm Brian Maiman with Rolling Bones Outfitters, and I personally want to invite you to join our membership. Start enjoying the benefits today whether it be our concierge service where you can call in and speak to a representative and customize your next outdoor adventure, or go to our website and start saving on products that we offer to our members at a discounted price. We want you to enjoy the benefits along with all the others. So go to rollingbonesoutfitters.com and sign up now. Look at that beautiful deer. After oh seeing that deer, clusters, 
and missing him and then getting on him again like 10, 11 days later. Having him on the ground was a huge relief. But Brian had a tag and we were hunting the same ranch and we knew there was just as good or bigger bucks on that place. So Now we regroup and it's my turn and we're gonna go eight miles on the other side of this particular ranch. We were gonna go check the buttes instead of hunt the river and that's what we did and, and we got on some great mule deer out there. And we wanna find a trophy mature deer and and when I say trophy, you know, so many people get caught up into how many inches it is. We want to make sure it's a five-year-old deer and a really mature deer and it's a good hunt. You know, when people come out, I think that that's something they should look for as much as how many inches the deer grosses. But, so, I'm looking for a mature deer and Mark's like, we got to go to the top of the world and start glassing. And I'm like, oh my God, Mark, are you kidding me? Well, we don't even get in there and we're seeing deer. We're on deer, there's deer. We're, we're spotting deer and we got the glass out and we're just looking deer over. So we have two bucks over here and one is spectacular. He's looking really good. He's a thousand yards away right now. He just bedded a doe down. So we're gonna find out what he looks like and uh, it's hunting. So we might go right back down the sheer cliff we came up. We just came off of that top of that wall, made it down here, came across. We're 600 yards away from him. We were a thousand before, so we've got 400. But another 250 yards, we'll know exactly what he is. So we can get the next knob over, and I can get a rest at 3.30. I can make this shot, but why make a 400 yard shot when you can make a 300 yard shot? That's my mantra, or at least that's what I'm saying today. We just let that deer walk. We we're trying to talk ourselves into it is what we were trying to do at 300. And he does have really good mass. Tell you what, I'm, I'm a firm believer in passing up good deer because there's bigger deer always. Maybe it was a mistake, maybe it wasn't, but that doe busted us and she sat here for 10 minutes just staring us down and she let him out of here. So I guess that's what they're good for. So. But we did figure out it wasn't the deer we wanted later, so. Deer jamming a doe back on that hillside. All right, we got another one right now. It's happening now. Oh, I'm on him. We just ran like a mile. We are winded. Deer 448 yards away. They got his back. There's a giant, a giant three point with trash on him. Massive big beams. Our best bet is to back out and we'd be sitting right by that point in Butte in the morning. And right now I have to get a tweezers and pick prickly pear, cause I laid in that. <laughs> infection. <laughs> My body might just become a large infection. I mean, like, I am prickly pear. That deer was worth it though. It would have been if we'd be on the Oh my gosh, he's big. I wouldn't even notice. He's big. Oh my gosh. We gotta be out here in the morning on the dark 30 we're gonna be here so it's gonna be good there's six bucks with eight does the rut is on like crazy right now Bones Outfitters, a company created by hunters for hunters. Let us help you find your next outdoor adventure. Contact us at Rolling Bones Outfitters. We match the hunter to the hunt.
You can feel it as soon as you step inside the lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort. There's a distinctive sound and it draws you in. Machines light up everywhere you turn. Excited crowds gather around the tables and undeniable energy gets your blood pumping and intrigues you. Makes you want more. Makes you want to see if tonight is your night. Will you try your luck at your favorite slot machine or sit down for a few hands of blackjack? It's your move and it's waiting for you at the lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort. Rolling Bones TV is proud to salute our sponsors. Kershaw Knives, there's nothing like a Kershaw. Arms Corps Ammunition, the official ammo of Rolling Bones Outfitters. My Realtree Max One Camo, for all the places deer and antelope roam. Montana Rifle Company, the official partner in creating the extended range, extreme weather custom Rolling Bones rifle system, the most accurate in hunting today. The Lodge at Deadwood Gaming Resort, elevate your experience and by Rolling Bones Outfitters. Be sure to sign up today for exclusive member benefits including discounts on hunts and merchandise. Log on to RollingBonesOutfitters.com That group of does we've been watching from these, this knobby butte over here. There's six bucks with eight does. The rut is on crazy right now we just passed on that two by three if we can't get on this giant one today i'm gonna shoot him tonight for a management call buck he's got a huge frame he'd make a great mount with his ears back in the sneak he's probably 25 26 inside wide so we're gonna slip out of here a mark again i spot a good buck up on the left and i'm like dude let's go make a play on this or let's go get a look at it mark's like no no, no. i'm finding this buck he's got to be here and he had a hunch just like he did with clusters look at that buck down there man mm. <laughs> wow <sighs> this is so awesome we just found that deer he is uh he is a he's a big boy we absolutely, after boogering this deer up the night before, we did not want any, any chance of that happening again. So we couldn't just race at him. So we had to really just creep ridge over ridge over ridge over ridge. And now there's absolutely nothing between him and about 20, 30 eyeballs and us. And so we're pinned down on this point and he's hanging out like, you know, King Tut up on this point. And Mark goes, oh my God, they're up. And he goes, what has got him up? I, I said to Mark, I said, is there another hunter that screwed up and he, he's clear in here? And Mark goes, oh yeah, there's like four hunters. So all these coyotes come around these uh, deer and they move them. Those mule deer, they'll go at them, coyotes, and try to kick the stink out of them. And uh, the good news was, is that all the deer ran off and that, that buck had that one doe locked, so he kind of pulled her off. They'd calmed down, and now it's just a matter of us waiting them out. On him. Take your time and take him. I smoked him. I smoked him. That's 230 grains of sit your butt down. Arms core ammunition. Yeah. Five hours we've been on this buck. Mark, thank you. Dude, Whoa. right on, man. Look at this buck. <laughs> well, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> we did it. Yes. Oh, He's just an unbelievable big frame deer. Just a toe. Just Look at those sweeping beans. White tail side. Muley side. Huge brow tines. Look at that Roman nose. You know, what do you say? It was unbelievable. It was one of those two-day periods where you go, wow, I'll never forget that. So it, it was, it's what makes hunting so great. To book a hunting adventure like you saw today, go to rollingbonesoutfitters.com and click on Book a Hunt and start building your trip of a lifetime.